Hi all folks, this is my root root galaxy. <laughs> Try that again. Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. I had too much coffee, so I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit. Um, anyway, I've got a new ROM review, Paranoid Android uh, ICS ROM for your GT and 7000 Galaxy Note. I've been using this on my Galaxy Nexus, um, my uh, Nexus S, and uh, by far this is the best, best tablet mode, tablet hybrid, whatever you want to call it. Um, ICS ROM you can get for your Galaxy um, Note. Before we begin, you're gonna lose your S Pen uh, touch sense, eh, touch sensitivity things. You know, it's not gonna actually. You know, you can actually use it as a mouse. Ooh, that's cool. Um, but it, you're gonna lose the S Pen uh, functionality. You still use the pen, just you know, it won't be as accurate as if you're using um, a TouchWiz based uh, ROM. But uh, other than that, I mean, you can use Clockwork Mod Recovery to run two ROMs, um, back, up, back up two ROMs, one that can use S Pen and one that has other features. Um, so this one has a hybrid mode and it's really cool. I will show you, um, I'll show you my Gmail here. Um, I've got a ton of emails. It's, it's just like flooding. It's just driving me crazy. I, I, I need to hire some people to write emails for me um, but uh, anyway so that's my gmail looks like let's say i want to i want to see the tablet mode this is the coolest like the most magical device ever you can um, you can use both phone and uh, tablet mode so you go to paranoid settings if you get very paranoid you're like oh i gotta look at my gmail like this you know and uh, I, want, I want the tablet mode i'm tired of this you know um, one dimensional mode then you can go to uh, paranoid settings you can't get any more paranoid. Go to hybrid settings. Uh, make sure hybrid mode is on and go to list of apps and uh, go to all and go to Gmail and change the DPI. DPI is dots per inch. 320 is really the phone mode. If you set it to like 160, 120, it's going to become into tablet mode. And you can even change it even, uh, you know, even more. Uh, it says default. It, you can set default for all the apps and then you can go into um, each app and set phone mode or tablet mode. Let's set it for tablet mode and also if you want you can even change the density number itself to get it even the way you want to and hit save. And this will probably pop the super user request hit allow and click OK. This will actually force close Gmail app and uh, set it in that new tablet mode. So now if I go to my Gmail, ta-da, I got my uh, tablet mode. Since my screen is big, this actually works out for me. And you know what? I don't need that phone mode. Phone mode sucks on the Galaxy Note. I have a big screen. You know, I don't need that. Um, so uh, let's try Netflix next real quick. So this is the default mode I'm getting. Uh, I believe this is the phone mode. So I'm tired of this. Netflix mode like that. I want I want to force it to um, tablet mode. So let's go to paranoid settings again. Hybrid settings. List of apps. Go to Netflix and change it to tablet mode. All right, and hit save. And hit OK. And successfully applied. And now when I go to Netflix, I'm gonna get the tablet mode, dude. Yeah, that's cool, right? Anyway, um, there you go. I've got tablet mode. Now I can, you know, enjoy um, my movies in tablet mode. So it's a great way to get, um, you know, you don't have to switch to tablet mode. You don't have to switch to phone mode. You can stay in the phone mode or even switch to tablet mode, but, um, you know, actually use the apps, you know, in phone or tablet mode. And uh, you can actually swap out um, into tablet mode, hit that, and reboot. All right, and it will place all the bars on the bottom just like an Android tablet. Well, this is a tablet, um, so you can change that after a reboot. So I'll be back when this is um, done rebooting. So I've now rebooted. Um, you can see that my bar, everything went to the bottom just like my Galaxy Tab 10.1 or any other Android tablet. Um, so now you get the lock screen and also you can see the weather um, I'll show you where you can set that um, go to settings and uh, it's under lock screen and you can mess with the weather there 
uh, put whether they're themes, launcher, there's also other things you can do. Uh, but now you can see I'm in totally tablet mode, you know, tableted out. And you can always switch back by going into settings. Um, so this brings a power of phone and tablet into your hands. Um, so it's definitely worth it to sacrifice your S Pen for a couple hours to try out the um, Fablet, the, the Fablet ROM. A fabulous ROM here. Uh, Paranoid Android, I've been using this ROM. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it for you to um, get used to it because I think this is actually the future. Um, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if you can do this now, in the future, uh, Google might update Android so you can do this you know on stock ROMs I mean you know this is something that the custom custom ROM developers did and it's you know big kudos to them and you know what's that monkey doing there I didn't put that there um, anyway uh, thanks you guys for watching my videos um, try out this ROM you will love it don't forget to flash the ROM in the Google Apps that comes with this ROM this one requires a special Google Apps that's in there there's two files flash both so you'll have Gmail and Play Store and don't forget to let me know what you think of this ROM. And make sure you make a backup of your current ROM um, if you want to go back or switch back and forth or whatever. And one day we'll have a dual boot kernel, which means we'll be able to boot easily into this one or a TouchWiz based ROM with uh, S Pen use. I mean, that's going to be wonderful. Anyway, thanks you guys again. If you have a Galaxy Note, uh, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, root. I always mess up that line. Uh, at rootgalaxynote.com uh, I update you once a week with ROM of the Week um, stuff like this and uh, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email and I'll share your email with anyone else but my dog and the monkey and also if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button for me it helps me greatly um, subscribe button up here um, if you have thanks a lot and use that share button uh, to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus and I've been working like I've been making videos since 6 well it's not really work for me it's kind of fun but um you know even the most fun things I have to take a break so I'm gonna call it a day this is the last video um, thanks you guys again for supporting and watching my humble Android channel and uh, you guys stay high on Android this week alright see y'all later